So guys, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be talking about Shadowhunters, City of Bones. This is going to be an introduction as well as a book talk. So welcome to the podcast. You know, Shadowhunters is one of those series that I've seen for a while, but was always curious about. I mean, it has everything ranging from werewolves, vampires, fairies, angels, downworlders. It just, it seems like a whole bunch of random stuff put together in a YA book. At least that's what I thought. Honestly, this wasn't a turn off for me towards the series, but actually a turn on. It made me really wonder and think about, hmm, what is this series really about? What is his weaknesses? What is his strengths? And what is Shadowhunters? So I read it. So Shadowhunters is pretty much about Clary Frey, a girl who just turned 15. So she sneaks out secretly without her mom knowing into a club with her friend Simon, only to witness a group of teens, which are Shadowhunters, murder this guy who happens to be a vampire. After witnessing this, she goes to the club to investigate and snoops around, but they run her out. Simon sees that she's talking to people, but usually you cannot see shadow hunters at all unless you are a shadow hunter. After witnessing it, she goes back home in fear the next day and realizes that her mom is missing. Turns out that that some downworlders, which are like demons, took her mom. With this, she head to the Shadow Hunter headquarters for help, and turns out that those group of teens were indeed Shadow Hunters. Shadow Hunters are people who are who can be also born from other Shadow Hunters who have drunk the blood of Rosal, an angel, from a cup called the Moral Cup. or the mortal cup. So Jace, which is the first shadow hunter who she really meets and gets to know, pretty much lets her know that she, her mom was actually a shadow hunter and a very strong and powerful one at that. And he pretty much tells her that she is basically a shadow hunter as well. And she's also a rune shaper which is a rare type of person, someone who can understand and draw runes. You may be wondering, what are runes? Well, runes are the language of the angels, and it's pretty much symbols that they burn onto themselves, them being shadow hunters, in order to give them strong powers and abilities. Jace Wayland is not only the protagonist as well, as her and also the leader of the young shadow hunters as the at the institution the institution being where shadow hunters tr not only train but it's also their headquarters but he is also a love interest for clary we learn early on that the mortal cup is very important to the plot not only because it was essentially what created shadow hunters but it was also destroyed mainly because someone named valentine morganster was looking for it because it can create shadow hunters as well as give great, great, great power. Downworlders are some of the, my favorite part of um, shadow hunters because it's interesting. What I like is that their lore combines almost every element of fiction you could think of. You heard of vampires, werewolves, they literally have everything in here, ranging from Nephilims, fairies, warlocks, werewolves, vampires, and even ghosts, which kind of makes you wonder, how do all of these fit and connect to all of them being, being downworlders? Well, it makes sense in the sense of this. Nephilims are angels and humans having children. Fairies are part angel, part demons. Warlocks are offsprings of humans and demons. Werewolves and vampires are humans who had demon disease. And ghosts are just souls bound to earth. It's sort of interesting on how they can fit all of these archetypes into not only this story, but also make it make sense. And essentially what a shadow hunter uh, job is to do is to kill these downworlders. 
but it also makes you wonder about the plot. Are the Downworlders good? Are they really bad? Or is it even their fault? Even fairies are pretty complex because they can take multiple forms and shape, not only with their elf ears and their different color skin, but fairies can also have wings. They can also be mermaids or really just another type of fairy. It really makes you interesting and intrigued to learn more about the lore and everything about Shadowhunters. Vampires and werewolves are a common theme, but also warlocks are around, which makes you interesting and absolutely want to learn more about the lore. Especially when it comes to almost every character is a different class or different type. We also learn about the Cup of Rosal being in history for a long time. It's also the main reason why Valentine is looking for it and kidnapped her mom. Valentine was the leader of the Circle, the group of Shadowhunters that her mom was part of. So overall, I love Shadowhunters and I'm really interested to learn about her mother's past, where does every character come from, and everything that happened. Not only story-wise, but character-wise. Who are the people? What are people's goals and everything about the world of Shadowhunters? I will say this, for a book one of a series, it does reveal a lot, and I mean a lot of information early on. Not to the point of overwhelmingness, but I would suggest maybe taking notes while reading this. Over time, everything about the lore will become, you know, I guess, on your first thought because you would know it by heart. But it is also sort of complex in a way of everything that tells you they tell you early on is very important for the future. It seems like Cassandra Clare is very good at weaving the plots together and um, not leaving out important detail, but also making everything feel light and sort of given to you like. I feel like Shadowhunters is honestly underrated in the book community. It's pretty popular for a lot of YA fans, but I feel like on a broader scope, it's more than just good for YA. It is like a great book. Not only that, but the book itself is a pretty good length, and also it has so many books in the series. I think it, with all of the spin-offs and prequels all combined, it has at least 15 books or more. You can tell that Cassandra Clare really cares and really spent a lot of time putting detail in each character and integrating this world into something amazing. It not only works well for the book itself, but you can see a lot of things happening. I'm curious as to what the whole series overall is going to be, and I hope that eventually in the future I would read all of the City of Bones um, Shadowhunter books including not only City of Bones, but all of the other books, part of not only the Mortal Instrument series, but also the other series. So yeah, that's my overall opinion and things about um, Shadowhunters, sort of an introduction, and also my opinions on City of Bones and what it's about. And I hope to talk about this series more in the future. And uh, thanks for watching.